All right, so this is kind of a crazy movie. What made you say, yes, I need to do it? Um, just a few things. Nick Carter, sci-fi, other boy bands, The Asylum. It just had sort of campiness written all over it, but cult following written all over it. And I've always wanted to be in a movie, so I was like, I jumped at the opportunity. I didn't know anything about the script, anything else. Those are the three, four points I needed to know about it and got excited about it. So you've never acted before? Well, I act every day, just not in a movie. <laughs> just not in a movie. He did all kinds of school plays when he was little, all the way growing up. Which is a lot different than doing something like this. So you were channeling your inner theater child for that's, this movie. That's right, my, my inner thespian. Thespian <laughs> means actor, nothing nothing perverted or anything like that. So did anyone you know give you some acting pointers for this movie? No, I wish they would have. And remember that when you're watching the screening of this, that I didn't have any extra pointers. But you know what, I had a blast doing it. It was a, it was a great time. Have you seen it yet? No, I haven't, by design. I kind of seen a, a few things, like selects, little clips, but I kind of wanted to hold off until the premiere and really watch it then and get a little tipsy beforehand, so I'm not, so, so it silences my inner critic, you know what I mean, so. <laughs> You're not as embarrassed. <laughs> no, exactly. You know how it is. I, I feel You've it. been there. Yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> yeah, um, and kind of the inner band boy fan, how was it? We've all been waiting however many years for all the boy bands to get back together. How did it feel? to do this together. It felt great. I mean, I think we've all waited for the same thing. There was never really a rivalry b between the bands. I mean, despite what the media wanted to create or even, you know, the fans wanted to create because they're very ter territorial over the different bands that they like. We all had a mutual respect for each other. The business is very hard, as you know. So to see these guys achieving, selling 100 million records, you know, 80 million records, selling out stadiums and being in the same conversation of those guys and in the same breath as those guys, it was an honor to us. And so, you know, finally to getting to work with them on this capacity, although it's different than the music, uh, it was an honor for me. It was a blast. I, enjoy I relished every moment of it. And this is the year of reunions. Are we going to get a 98 Degrees reunion anytime soon? You just uh, might. You just might. We've been talking about it. about it. That's right. I, I have been, been dreaming about it. He's been having dreams about a 98 Degrees reunion that's, for a couple that, months that's now. That's right, now. honey. Right, right, right. Yeah, so it might happen maybe end of summer, early fall. But that's, again, just that's a vision. A dream. It's a vision that I have. It's all in your mind right now. You have to make it happen. It's in my mind, and it might be in 40 cities of my mind. So coming up soon. So Looking forward to it. Well, congratulations, Annette. Good luck watching tonight. I appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.